Where on Google Drive is my backup file? Is it safe? How the synchronization works across many devices? Which Google account is connected to my 2FAA backup? What happens if I delete my token? And why so many questions? Hi, I'm Andrew from 2FAS. And today we'll talk about 2FA backup option, which is Google Drive synchronization. Side note, this video is mainly for Android users. We will do a video for iOS users in which we will talk about iCloud synchronization. We are getting many questions regarding Google Drive synchronization, so we thought that we will make a video and answer all of them. First question is, why to choose this particular 2FA backup option? Well, in opposite to other 2FA backup options, like uh, exporting a 2FA backup file or downloading backup codes, Google Drive synchronization gives you automatic backup of Oriole tokens in real time, available on many devices at the same time, and the backup is stored online. In my opinion, these four points are the reason why to choose Google Drive synchronization. The second question is, where my 2FA backup file is stored on Google Drive. Where for safety reasons, your 2FA backup file is stored in hidden folder accessible only by the app. Because for example, if your Google account is compromised, you can be sure that hackers won't get to your 2FA codes. If you want to check if 2FAS app is correctly connected to your Google Drive, first you can go to 2FAS app menu, 2FAS backup, synchronization options, and there you will find synchronization status. The second option of checking it is go to your PC or Mac, log into your Google Drive, Click the gear icon, go to settings, manage apps, and there you will find 2FAS app along with other apps that are connected to your Google Drive. Third question, is it safe? Well, as I already told you, the 2FAS backup file is stored in the hidden folder, but additionally, you can protect it with a password. To do that, go to 2FAS app, menu, 2FAS backup, synchronization options, and set password. Now your 2FA backup file is stored in the hidden folder, and additionally, it's password protected. Now the fourth question is, what to do if you forget your password? First, you need to disable your Google Drive synchronization in 2FAS app. As you know, go to Menu, 2FAS Backup, and then turn off Google Drive synchronization toggle. Now, go to your PC or Mac, log into your Google Drive, click on the gear icon, go to Settings, Manage Apps, and then choose 2FAS app and click Disconnect from Drive. Remember to have also delete app data checkbox checked. Now you've stopped Google Drive synchronization in 2FAS app and you've disconnected 2FAS app from your Google Drive. Now you have to go to 2FAS app and turn the Google Drive synchronization toggle on. Choose your Google account and set a new password. Remember this password. Fifth question, how it works across many devices. Well, as you know, Google Drive synchronization gives you option to synchronize your tokens across many devices. To do that, simply turn on Google Drive synchronizations on all your devices and connect it to the same Google account. If you add a new service on one device, it will be added on other devices. If you rearrange your service on one device, it will be rearranged on other device. If you create a group in one device, the group will be created in all your devices. Now, the sixth question is how to check which Google account I'm using. To do that, go to 2FAS app, menu, 2FAS backup, synchronization options, and there you will find information about which Google account you are connected with. If you want to change your Google account, simply disable Google Drive synchronization and enable it back again. Then you will have an option to choose your Google account. If you are using many synchronized devices, remember to change this Google account on all devices. Seventh question is, what happens when I delete a service? Well. When you delete your service, it will be moved to the trash, but on Google Drive, it will be gone. From trash, you can restore the service and it will be synchronized again. But remember that deleted services are not synchronized, so if you reinstall the app, you won't find them even in the trash. But in any case, you really need to be sure that you want to delete service from your token list. And this is very important. Remember that if you delete a token from your tokens list in 2FAS app, it doesn't mean that you turned off 2FA on your service. You still have it on and when you log into the service you will have to put your login and password and then you will have to put your 2FA token also. If you want to disable 2FA, first do it on the service and after that you can safely remove this service from your 2FAS tokens list. And that's it! We've made it! Now you know everything about Google Drive synchronization on 2FAS app. If you have any more questions, leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And remember, if you are not, subscribe to our channel. See you!